Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 9.4. The statement of problem is for loading shown determine the equation of elastic curve for the cantilever beam AB. B is the deflection at the free end and C at slope at the free end. So in first part we have to find y is a function of x which is equation of elastic curve clear. In part B, we have been asked to find the deflection at free end. So the free end is A, so Y A. And in part C, we have been asked to find the slope at free end. So let's start with the solution. As you know that this is the equation which is E I into D square Y over D X square is equal to M of X. So we will need the bending moment equation for this beam. Clear? So you can take the section of beam at any point. So if we section it at this point, so distance from the free end will be equal to, let this distance is x. So this will be equal to x minus l. So I will draw this uh, and we will find the uh, equation of bending moment for the beam. So this is free end, so there is a uniformly distributed load which is equal to W naught. Clear? W? Sorry, W, not W naught. So if you cut the beam at this point, so there will be a shear force and a reaction bending moment. And this distance is X. In order to find the equation of bending moment for this beam, so we will convert the uniformly distributed load into concentrated load. So if you convert this distributed load into concentrated load, so it will be W into X. So it will be W into X and it will be acting at the half of the length of the beam. So this total is X, so half will be X by 2. Here, so there is a reaction moment and shear force as well and this is point J and this is point A. Now we will apply the moment equation sum of all moment about point J is equal to zero. So you can see at point J there is a reaction moment and the counterclockwise is positive. So this is counterclockwise so it could be positive and due to this load W into X which also produce a counterclock. So it will be the plus W into x and the perpendicular distance is x by 2 where sum must be equal to 0 so implies that the reaction bending moment is equal to minus 1 over 2 w x square so this is the required bending moment equation for this beam let this is equation number a and this is equation number b so we will put equation B in equation A. So we will get E i into D square y over D x square is equal to minus 1 over 2 W x naught. So if you integrate it once you will get the equation of slope so that will be equal to E i into D y by dx. I will write here shortcut integrate. We get ei into this will be equal to minus 1 over this is square 1 over 6 wx cube plus c1 into uh, sorry c1 not c1x. So let this is equation number 1, again integrate it, again integrate to get EI into Y will be equal to minus 1 over 18 
uh, sorry not 18 it will be plus 4 divided by 4 so 1 over 24 w x 4 plus c 1 x plus c 2 clear so this is equation number 2 now you can see c1 and c2 are unknown constant and that can be found by using boundary condition so we will go toward boundary condition so this is the fix and and we can say at x is equal to l y is equal to 0 and at x is equal to l theta is equal to 0 because at fix and deflection is equal to 0 and slope is equal to so we will use this boundary condition in order to find c1 and c2 from boundary condition the first one is at x is equal to l theta is equal to 0 and the second boundary condition is at x is equal to l y is equal to 0 so we will apply apply first boundary condition i have written in short apply one in to equation for slope equation is equation number one so when you apply at x is equal to l theta is equal to zero so this term will be equal to left side will be equal to zero there and that this will become equal to minus 1 over 6 w n q plus c1 so it means c1 will become equal to 1 over 6 w l q clear so you can also put c1 put c1 in equation 1 so when you will put c1 in equation 1 so this equation ei into dy by dx which is equal to theta will become equal to minus 1 over 6 wx cube plus plus c1 so c1 is 1 over 6 wl cube so this is the equation of slope you can divide it by ei on both sides so you will get the theta now we will apply the second boundary condition now you put second boundary condition in equation 2 which is for the slope so what is the condition at x is equal to l y is equal to 0 so this term will become equal to 0 and here x will be will be replaced with l so minus 1 over 24 w l 4 plus c 1 is 1 over 6 w l cube into x is replaced by l plus c 2. So when you solve this, this c 2 will become equal to minus 3 over 24 w l 4. Now you have both the value of c1 and c2 you can put in equation number 2 to get put c1 and c2 in equation 2 so we will get ei into y is equal to minus 1 over 24 wx4 plus c1 is 1 over 6 w l cube into x plus c2 is minus 3 over 24 w l 4 clear and this y will become equal to minus 1 over 24 e i into w x 4 plus 1 over 6 e i into w x l cube minus 3 over 24 e i w into l 4 which is the equation of elastic 
better clear if you can also simplify it it will become equal to y is equal to minus w over 24 ei into x4 minus x4 minus 4 l cube x minus plus 3 l4 so this is the shortest form of equation of elastic fall now we will move toward part b is that you have to find the deflection at free end so at free end mean at x is equal to 0 so you will put x is equal to 0 so this term will be equal to 0 this will be 0 and this y a will become equal to minus 3 l4 over 24 ei and again it will be equal to minus l4 over 8 e i clear so minus sign means deflection is downward so y a is equal to minus l4 over 8 e i and this minus shows that deflection is downward now part c is that slope at free, at free end so at free end which is x is equal to 0 theta a will become equal to so we will go to equation number 3 so at x is equal to 0 this will be equal to 0 so theta will become equal to w l cube over 6 e i then w l cube over 6 e i yeah so since theta is positive means in counterclockwise direction i hope you have enjoyed the problem and you are learning from my videos as well thank you for watching and keep sharing it with your friends